What's up guys, it's Mashina. So today I'm doing work from home um, and I've got Zia with me. This is going to the office and um, I thought I would vlog, but not vlog like as in like a day in my life, but as in like, I want to show you some bits, like more importantly, like food stuff. So I have an Asda delivery coming up um, in like, like roughly two hours. So it's 11 o'clock right now. And I think around like 1, 1 1.30 it should be coming. So I've got that. And I've ordered um, a bunch of stuff. So um, it should be coming. But I did, I ordered it yesterday. The only reason why is because the rice that we like to eat, the trophy brand, the basmati rice, we, we always buy the 10 kilo ones because we eat rice like every day. Um, it was on offer. Um, it was on sale. So it's originally 20 pounds, but it was marked down to 15, which is really good. So I bought um, two like big bags of those so um obviously i don't want to go and buy them because they're heavy so i'm having them delivered also it's only the slot that i booked is only three pounds and then oil like cooking vegetable oil was on sale so i bought that and it's all going to be delivered but then i got a uh, text message this morning when i woke up i saw that some of the items i ordered were unavailable of course and they've sent in um substitutes and they were like if i don't like it i can send it back but i was like oh like come on like some of the stuff is like okay but i'll show you guys what they substituted and i've already decided what i want to send back and there's a few things that i want to look at first like see what it looks like and then um so, i'll show you i'm gonna be careful i'm not showing my address but my screen is actually so dirty <laughs> i didn't even realize how dirty that is i'll get that cleaned up later on but anyway i ordered this like pepper pig because zia's obsessed with pepper like she loves it Peppa Pig like plush toy thing that looks actually like normal Peppa Pig with the red dress and stuff but this one they've sent me um the substitution which actually the original price is 11 pounds so they've marked it down to seven for me and it's supposed to look like this this one basically but the, the problem with that yeah is that I don't know if she's gonna buy that that's Peppa Pig <laughs> I mean she's only one I can't really explain to her that this is a party pepper with like a party gown and a bow because the pepper pig that she knows is the normal one with, with the red dress like this one this is the one that she knows and everybody knows and she's only one so i wanted i, I ordered something like this originally but obviously they didn't have it so they didn't, i'm gonna see first so when the asda guy comes i'm gonna get this out i'm gonna show zia and if she recognizes it as pepper then i will keep it <laughs> you can see there the original it's 11 pounds so for me here They've basically marked it down for me. They're giving it to me for seven pounds, which is actually really good. I mean, you can't even see. There we go. But the original price is actually eleven. You can see. But I'm gonna see because I don't want to just buy it for her and she doesn't realize that it's Peppa. She just thinks it's like a random toy. But if she recognizes it as Peppa, then I will keep it. If not, I'm sending it back because I want to like. Then I ordered this from Amazon, which is like the same thing, but it's a bit. It's seven ninety nine instead of seven. That's fine, but I'll still order that. And then another thing that they substituted, th this is fine, this head-to-toe wash. I ordered like the Asda, no, I think that was the Johnson Johnson one. But they've sent me the Asda version instead, which I think that's fine. I don't really care, that's fine. And also I ordered Johnson's baby shampoo. I guess they didn't have it. I don't know why. I think this is the same thing. I I'm not sure what this is because I'm pretty sure I ordered the exact same thing. But I think that one had a pump and this was just like, you can just drop it into your hand, I guess. And I think they're sending me two. Because it says times two and it's two pounds two pounds seventy six. So if they're sending me two for two pounds seventy six and they're both five hundred ml, which is what well originally I ordered seven fifty. Oh, I see what they've done there. Okay, I'll definitely keep that because then I'm getting a thousand I'm getting one liter basically. So that's good for like two seventy six. So I'll keep that. And then this is what I was on short because I wanted jumbo cream king prawns. Cause they were on like they were kind of on offer so i bought three for 11 pounds that's actually really good for three packs and they were 160 160 grams but then they're sending me these instead these are uh king prawns so they're not jumbo king they're slightly smaller than that and they're a bit bigger so they're two two ten grams but they're only sending me two and it's eight pounds so i don't know i'm gonna have to see again what it looks like so i've been again i've been like searching like what does a king prawn <laughs> i don't know like, I like, when i look at it i know what, what it's like but when it comes to prawn sizes like i don't know like what the sizes are so i'm gonna see that as well and then this one i'm definitely sending it back because this is the halal chicken obviously this is the peri peri baby chicken for three pounds seventy five. so it has all the spices in it already whereas they're sending me like the normal chicken um for like with no spices nothing for the same price but it's like why would i want this this has the skin on it and it's not cut or anything 
and I can buy the same thing like in my corner shop like literally takes like two seconds to go there and they'll they'll remove the skin for me and they'll chop it up for me and it will be like £3.50 so why would I buy this so I'm definitely sending this back like definitely because I wanted the peri peri chicken I thought I'd shove it in the oven and fry some chips in the air fryer steam some vegetables and I'm good to go I thought I would do that but they're sending me this one so I'm like no I'm gonna send that back absolutely not <laughs> how is that the same thing this, clearly someone ordered this because it's peri peri and i thought i could have it for like dinner tonight but it's fine i'll just make the prawns but again the prawns i'm kind of unsure we'll see and then the pepper pig as well that's this is in zia's hands if she recognizes it as pepper then i'll let her keep it but um and i've been showing her like this image <laughs> trying to get trying to see if she recognizes it as pepper <laughs> but I think she might be looking at the little drawing, like this little cartoon thing here and saying it's Pepper. But I want her to actually recognise the doll itself as Peppa. So if she does, then I'll keep it. If not, I'm sending it back. I'm like, no. Take it back. So yeah, hopefully she likes this. Because actually, seven pounds is actually really good for this. And I think it makes some noises as well. Because it says, try me. I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see. And then, I'm, I'm, and then I've ordered like a bunch of other stuff. But I'll show you guys when it like gets Yeah, there. so that's the as the situation but luckily the main things that i ordered like the basmati rice i ordered two that's coming thank goodness and the oil as well the sunflower oil that's also coming that was also on sale which i was very happy about that's also coming and i ordered like um i didn't buy like groceries per se i just bought like cleaning supplies i bought milk i bought like random stuff because i already like for grocery this week i'm already set like i bought everything from iceland i usually buy everything from iceland co-op and my nearest big shop is Sainsbury's. I've got a big Sainsbury's nearby, but I don't usually go there. I just like to pop to Iceland because it's really, it's like really close to me. So, um, stuff like eggs, vegetables, what else? Other stuff that we eat, <laughs> like frozen halal burger things, burger buns, all of that stuff. I already have them, chips, frozen pizza. I'll show you guys. I already have them because I already bought them for this week. Um... So I didn't. I, I wish I knew that I was gonna order from Asda because I wouldn't have bought it from Iceland, but I would have bought it from Asda instead because the Asda Essentials own brand thing, the yellow label thing, those, those are really cheap actually. But um, I don't have enough space in my freezer to like freeze like to store anything else, so I didn't buy. So I refrained myself from like buying other stuff. But I have ordered some other stuff though, so we'll see when it comes. And yeah, I'm just so disappointed about the whole Peppa Pig thing because I was really excited for her to get it because she's been obsessed with Peppa. She has this little book, Peppa Pig book, and she's been loving it. And yeah, so we'll see how that also, goes. Also, basically, Ismet and I have decided that we're not going to have any, any takeout until like for at least a month. And I want to push it for a little bit longer and hopefully, because it's still September right now. The date is the 21st of September. So I want to kind of like push it back until like the end of October. Like, fingers crossed, inshallah. We'll see. Like, I want to like... For as long as possible not buy any takeout because even though i love i absolutely love having like pizza and stuff but like basically last week um friday especially we went out and we, we ate out and it was just like ridiculous amount <laughs> that we spent and um that week alone like over like 10 days just over 10 days we ordered out like three times like takeout like pizza burgers burgers and stuff and Forget eating unhealthy, like the cost was like, whoa. And especially on Friday, last, it was fun. It was really fun. And Isma was like, it's fine because it was like we had a great time. But still for me, because I always buy the groceries and I cook. So I know how much we spend when I like buy food myself, like make, like buy the ingredients and make it myself. So when I saw like on Friday, how much we spent, I was like, you know how much groceries I can buy? <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So yeah, we both decided like, Usually I'll be like, no, nah, like he, he'll say it here and there. But I'll be like, no, no, no. Like I want to have pizza at least like once a week. Like we'll, we'll usually order it like on a Friday. But um, yeah, this time I was like, yeah, like I I agree. Let's let's just do it like at least a month. And I want to push it to like end of October. So um, because of that, we're having like, what is she doing? She's playing with some stuff. So um, I'm going to make home, obviously homemade meals. And with dinner and stuff, I, I found some like ready-made, like some frozen stuff. So if I'm like in a pinch, like, um, I'll show you guys. I've got some cheesy pasta thing. Obviously, all vegetarian. If it's not halal, I've got all vegetarian stuff and like some cheese pizza, pizza from like co-op. And I bought some like halal kebab things. We've been eating like non bread, like garlic non bread with like chicken thing that I made. It's really nice actually. So um, and I'll show you what I made for lunch today as well. I made it last night, and we had that with the rice. It was so good. It was like yummy. And I basically made um, 
lentil and vegetable curry i'll show you guys but yeah so we're trying to like eat at home basically and yeah so far it's actually been really good i've been enjoying it as well because i've been like actively seeking like dinner ideas and like not lunch ideas necessarily because we, we always have like a curry and, and rice and some vegetables so that the lunch is easy but dinner is hard because we don't usually eat rice for dinner we have like something else so dinner is really like hard to like figure out but um yeah we'll see how it goes but with the as the order i haven't actually ordered anything for like dinner i've just ordered like other stuff like, i'll show you all right so I'm, I'm gonna quickly show you guys because i've got the freezer door open and i can you know the electricity will be like Ugh. so anyway i've got the triple cheese pasta melt which is obviously it's vegetarian it's from co-op and yeah i think this will be really nice on like a day when i'm like on a pinch i've already got like iceland mac and cheese down there you can see um that's been there for a while now i've got that i've got some mixed vegetables that i can like make as um fried rice with like eggs I've got that got a garlic naan which are frozen i bought it from like the off license shop nearby so i've got that also have this um paratas for like we have curry like mutton curry chicken curry um we can eat this with, with the curry for like dinner so this is a really easy one i love these tastes really nice this one doesn't really like it but i've got another mac and cheese back there and yeah. and i've also got a stone baked margarita pizza down there as well so yeah so those are the things that i'm gonna use for like a quick dinner so when i'm like in a pinch and i don't know what to make i can use those and the garlic um naan bread thing that was really good like we had that for like two days last week yeah we had it last week for two days and it was really nice so yeah i'll show you guys what i made for lunch today. isma's already taken um this for lunch but this is um lentil and vegetable curry this is actually really healthy it's like fully like completely healthy because it's literally vegetables and lentils there's no meat or anything it's fully of course vegetarian. of course i had to make rice with it and i'll probably like fry an egg as well on the side um and Zia will have this food. and i feel like because we've had like just it's, that's just vegetable lentil curry i want to have something on the side for like tomorrow because obviously i'm going to keep the same curry for tomorrow i'm going to keep it for a couple of days that's what we usually do so i cook so i make like a nice curry and then i'll keep it for like two to three days shove it in the fridge two to three days and then the rice is there and i can like one day we'll have it with just like the vegetables and the next day i'll usually fry something like chicken or something but today um depending on how good the prawns are if the prawns are fine then i'll make them i'll make like a prawn masala kind of thing i'll show you guys but make like, a really nice prawn masala that'll go really nicely with the um vegetable lentil curry it's called sambar by the way it's south indian food it's really it's really good for you it's like full of iron and obviously with vegetables it's really good so yeah um so we can have so tomorrow when we eat it for lunch it's not just like we're not having the, just the same thing we're having it plus like the, the curry plus i don't know what she's doing plus like the prawn masala would be really nice so yeah Ooh, apologies i didn't realize that my old the other videos you can the light is like you can't really see me properly i hope that's better i'm really sorry about that but yeah hopefully this is fine i think zia needs her nappy changed but yeah all right so the asda delivery just arrived and i'm sorry about the mess but i just want to show you guys very quickly before i put them away so that's the basmati rice that i was talking about trophy it's 10 kilograms you can see there i've um, got another one i put it away already so i just want to show you guys one then i bought these all-purpose cleaning cloths like we use this to clean like the kitchen counter and stuff with and we go through it so quickly this was only around i can't remember the prices exactly but it was definitely less than like 50p 50 or 60p each so i bought two of those and I bought all um white these were like one pound ninety or something and it's uh five kilograms of white potatoes because we do use like, we do eat a lot of potatoes here. And then I've got ten single slices of um Asda cheese. We eat burgers all the time, so this will be great. And I'm pretty sure that was also like less than one pound each. And then I bought six pint of the big milk. Like Zia drinks like normal whole milk now, so I'll literally pour that into like her baby bottles and she'll drink that so we go through milk a lot now so i don't buy as much formula anymore um she just because she's one so she drinks normal milk so that's why i got the big one this was like two pounds something so yeah then i bought the two easy peelers um oranges what they're what they call just easy peelers or mand mandarin i don't know how to pronounce this but yeah those ones they're quite uh, hopefully they're sweet but they were like 80p or something each so i bought those then I've got quite a bit of hand washes. I've got three because they were like literally like 70p or something each. And they don't have the pump, 
which is kind of annoying but it's fine because i can always change out the pump from the hand washers that i already have so um because who wants to like pick this up when they're trying to wash their hands and then like pour it into the hand like so much falls out it's like no so i can always change out the pumps from our car our like current um hand washers but i thought they were really good and they're also 500 ml as well so i don't know how they're gonna smell like or how like frothy they'll become but i'll let you guys know later on then i bought ketchup and mayo the asda just essentials one i thought you know what it's just ketchup and mayo why not then i bought um toilet cleaner oh the ketchup and mayo again they were like less than a pound each so i bought those and then toilet cleaner and thick bleach for cleaning so yeah these were also less than a pound each <laughs> i can't remember exactly how much they were but yeah i thought they were pretty that was pretty good and yeah again this is the asda brand and then this is the asda asda just essentials one and then I'm, then this is the thing that i was talking about they sent me two johnson's baby shampoo um because i originally ordered the 750 ml one but i guess they sent me two 500 which is fine i can always like store it and then i i did order the johnson's baby wash but i guess they didn't have that so instead they sent me this which is also fine like I, it's fine like i mean i haven't used anything else other than johnson's baby stuff on her but it's fine like it's just body wash so at least shampoo she's got the johnson's one because yeah that's no more i don't know does it say, does it say no more tears it says suitable for newborns so it should be fine but then i got two of this all-purpose cleaner this was literally like 70p or something each and it was it's like one liter so it's really good it's lemon flavor which i really like so we can put this you know in like we can use this to like wipe down the counters with i can put them in my spray bottle i can like you know reuse the bottle if i want to like use it as a spray i can dilute it in like mop like in a mop bucket so i can use this to like mop the floors with clean anywhere basically kitchen bathroom tiles anything and then i bought the uh as the just just essentials shower gel i thought this was actually really good because this is 500 milliliters and it was lit i think it was like 50p or something it was really cheap so we always go through shower gel like there's no tomorrow so i thought you know what let's stock these up so i bought three um so i can just store them because it's not like it's gonna go off i mean unless i think you, after you open it they, they're like they're good for like a while see once you open it that means if i open it i can use it for a year 12 months 12 m means 12 months so you know that's fine i think this is perfect i can just store them away then i bought as the own brand rich tea biscuits it's with its digestives but he doesn't like any off-brand versions of digestives he just likes the original mcgritty's one whereas i eat rich tea me and zia eat rich tea biscuits but we don't mind like i don't mind when it's like off-brand i've tried all i've tried aldi i've tried marks and spencer's version i've tried all the other rich teas and i'm pretty sure i've tried this before when i was younger so i'm pretty sure it was good so again this was like 70p or something and it's 300 grams like big so i was like yes let's buy two and then I bought sunflower oil. This is a good one because this is five liters and it's super heavy. And there's no way I would have gone because this was also on sale. I think it was like five pounds or something. Originally, it's like nine something, I think. But it was it's really good. The price is really good. And if you think about it, there's no way I can go to Asda and carry two bags of basmati rice, big ass milk, all this stuff, and an oil. There's no way I could do that. Even if me and Isma we both go, it would be like miserable if you both went and tried to carry all this stuff back like on the bus so i'm so glad i got it delivered and for three pounds i think it's really good because i got a bunch of stuff like this this stuff is heavy like i kind of felt bad for the guy who came to deliver it because wait let me show you okay guys. yeah so i'm sitting on the floor um in the living room because all this stuff is out there like on the floor so yeah um oh there's one more thing i bought this plate for zia it says little princess it was only a pound because she has a bowl but she needs to have a plate like she doesn't have a plate and this is plastic and the bowl that i bought is actually peppa pig bowl that i bought like last like last year um i, I didn't intentionally buy it because she was obsessed with it. oh the pepper i have it i'll show you guys but i didn't intentionally buy it peppa pig because she likes it but i just bought it because it was on sale but um now she's obsessed with peppa pig. she was actually so excited when i showed her the bowl i was like look it has peppa pig on it she was like so excited but this one is like i couldn't find a peppa, uh, i couldn't find a peppa pig plate i just found this this little princess is quite cute it's pink and it's plastic so if she drops it it's fine so i can give her like you know when i give her like proper meals the bowl is kind of like small and if i give her like meals with fruits then i can serve her fruits on the bowl and then her meal can be on the plate so that's why i bought the plate 
and yeah i feel like i bought more i was gonna order like apple juice as well like the carton multi-pack as their own brand but i already have apple juice that i bought from iceland so i want to finish this first so that's why i didn't buy that because that's quite because if you buy like a multi-pack of like six cartons or something it's quite heavy so i could, could have got that but i didn't so it's yeah fine. so like i said no not like foodie bits oh the prawns as well yeah i'll show you guys i prawns. forgot this look at this i don't she didn't recognize it as probably when i showed it to her she's kind of unsure but i still got it anyway because it's quite cute like look at this and if i press it it says stuff i don't know what that says okay that's a bit creepy see i like that when she says i'm peppa pig so i don't know it's all right and I guess originally it was £11, it's quite cute, so I think I can convince her <laughs> that it's Peppa Pig. Because it is Peppa Pig, look, it's, it's Peppa, but she just looks a bit different. But anyway, I bought these as well, baby bars, because Zia's been snacking on these with like strawberries and other berries and bananas in the, in the evening. I think she has a little bit more of a sophisticated taste bud, because I was like, all that's missing from this like collection is crackers. Cause it's like she's eating cheese crackers and strawberries it's like very sophisticated i don't know she just likes it i tried giving it to her once and she's obsessed with it so i was like okay so i bought 12 pack of baby bells these are mini bells do they mini i swear this is the original size anyway it's fine this was like three pounds something it's actually pretty good because she eats like she eats like one every day for like evening snack with fruit so that's really good and also the prawns are here she, I let Zia like sit with them whilst I was collecting the rest of the stuff and she actually opened it and the juice like from the prawn went all over the floor. I had to clean that up. It stank like prawns, but it's fine. I cleaned it up. But yeah, I think this is all right, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I kind of wish I didn't. I sent it back, but it's fine. I can like make the prawn masalas with this. And it's fresh as well. It's not frozen. It's fresh. So, um, so yeah, because it says freezable. But it's not actually frozen. It's obviously you can clearly see it's not frozen. So I can make it fresh. So I, I guess it's fine then because I don't want to buy like prawns from like the fish, you know, the actual fish store where you buy prawns. They don't actually take the, they don't actually peel it for you. They don't take the skin off, which is really annoying. So I don't like doing the whole skin thing. So I think these are fine. And I'm happy with these as well. And yeah, the pepper, I don't know. We'll see if she likes it. But yeah. I really wish she got the original pepper though, because yeah. Here's my prawn masala, it's done. You know what, since like the prawns were already peeled and they were like pretty much cooked, it didn't, this didn't take me long at all. I could literally like onions, tomatoes, fry them, like a bit of chili, chili powder, turmeric, you know, all of the classic stuff, um, cumin powder, and then it's literally salt and it's done. And it smells amazing. And look how gorgeous that looks, like that looks beautiful and colorful. And obviously prawns, the only annoying things about them is that they shrink once you cook them. So these large prawns are <laughs> no longer large anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure they'll taste absolutely delicious. Like they look divine. They're not as spicy as they look. Basically the tomatoes are like really, really, really red. And I've added like two large tomatoes. That's why it looks really like red and spicy. But it's actually not that spicy. I only put a little bit of chili powder and like two chilies. That might be a lot for some people. But because um, I feed this, like I give this for Zia as well. And obviously she can't have, she's only one, she can't handle spice. So even though it looks really spicy, I promise you it's not even that spicy. It's just like a little bit of chilli flavouring. And there's green chilies. I haven't like slit them away. I just put them whole. So the flavour of the green chilies are like in, in the prawns, but it's not actually spicy. So yeah, that's like a pro tip if you want to have that chilli flavour without the spice. So yeah, my mum taught me that. But yeah, so good. Like this is so good. Like, I love it. This is one of my favourites yeah guys it's the end of the day i'm not looking too good but yeah i just finished making the prawn masala i showed you guys it's like i just literally just turned off the um stove and it's smelling delicious uh, we're gonna have that with our lentil and vegetable curry and i'm making more rice as well so that's it zia's crying when i go and tap to her but yeah anyway thanks so much for watching this video give this video a big like if you enjoyed it i know it's really short but thought i might as well just post something i want to show you guys my asda haul so i did that and yeah don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and as usual I'll see you guys next video